What up, everybody? You're now tuned into Candid Conversations. I'm your host, Brandon Lampley. Back again with another live stream. Yeah, I got my buddy Sean Taylor with me again today, man. We're gonna go in again a little bit today, but I don't really think it's a day that we don't go in. Now that I look back on it, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think there's a day that we let up. I don't, I don't think, I don't think so. So we're gonna continue to apply pressure, as the young women say. <laughs> I, like that. I like that boy i like that yes sir and so so today as they can see we're talking about let men be men mm. and when i when you sent me that it made me think of uh patrice o'neill so do you remember patrice o'neill oh yeah yeah, yeah. oh yeah so patrice o'neill had a quote um because he he was a quote machine man he was like like nesco he was a he was a quote machine and so he said that i generally See? don't like living in the world right. where being what a man is is a horrible thing and no matter what a woman is is a wonderful thing wow and this was this was year i'm talking about this was years ago and so fast forward to today and that's exactly what we're living in right um i agree 100 percent and and it's 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 almost uh like we talked about on last week about the order of things you you know women you gotta let men be men because that's basically how it was designed to be society has men water themselves down to they don't even want to be men they running away from that hard job of just being a man. Yeah. And society has orchestrated this crazy plan that the manly man, that's why the manly man is becoming extinct. The rugged man is becoming extinct. Yeah. Uh, the man of standard is becoming extinct um, because society has pretty much stripped away the power of the man but yeah. men never relinquish your power never relinquish your power yeah. and uh my mom is the person that, that that she's the person that taught me about never relinquishing your power you don't my mom said you don't relinquish your power to nobody you don't relinquish your power to society you don't relinquish your power to a woman you do not relinquish your power because when you relinquish your power what you do you move yourself out of position mm -hmm. and so once you move yourself out of position as a man anybody can do treat you how they want to talk to you how they want to they don't even respect you basically even in having a penis pretty much because you've yeah. already relinquished your power and so right now man you have to start fighting to stay in your solidified position and do not be moved when you know when, and, and, and it, you gotta men you gotta respect yourself enough to know what your place is what your role is and who put you there yes you didn't put yourself in that position the big man upstairs put you in that position so when you know you, when you are in that position you're not going to waver because that's what society wants you to do society wants you to dummy down water down diminish the the manliness in you that's a part of who you are that's a part of your genetic makeup society yep. has when you when i look at when i look at men today and then i look at <laughs> oh man men don't want to be men man that it, yeah. they, they just don't want they don't want the role no more and now that society has pretty much stripped in from them they are okay with that mm -hmm. you got to refuse to be okay with that man you got to refuse to be okay with that the old school man is desperately desperately needed to make a comeback he's yeah. needed because these men out here today, I really can't even call them men. 
I, I, because it's just this man. <laughs> no, I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. Man, I, um, you know, be man. It's just, yeah. it's, it's a crazy world we're living in. Crazy time. Yeah, yeah. Um, one of the things that, um, regardless of his antics and his quote unquote um, racism and things like that, because he said questionable things, but so did our current president, but President Trump. One thing that he um, represented that I don't think a lot of people want to admit to, he represented masculinity. That's what he represented. And that that was the real threat, regardless of what he said, jokes, antics, things like that. What he represented the most was masculinity. And that was a threat. You know, um, our men have been, especially young men, you've been conditioned and you've been vilified. Uh, for a very long time, you've been shown, especially especially when it comes to my generation. You basically it was it was conditioning us in school. It, it started in school, um, and then with TV, movies, music, it was always diminish the man, uplift the woman. Because I went back and I looked at so much old stuff that we used to watch back in the day, Sean, and the imagery right. in it is insane. If you go back and watch it and look at the little agendas that they had when they were pushing certain things. And I'm like, man, we sat and we watched this as children. You know, a lot of times parents don't even realize what we're watching. I go back and watch it. I was like, yo, I wouldn't let my kids watch some of this stuff today. Some of the stuff today and the stuff from yesterday, man. So All right. you kind of get an understanding of why guys are the way they are. So men are like, so, okay, you took my sword and you took my shield and you put me in, you put me in here and trying to domesticate me and tell me, hey, OK, well, you're no longer what you were. We want you to be this. What this was was wrong. We want you to be this. And if you're not this, then we're going to shame you. Um, uh, we're going to vilify you. You're not going to um, have a good life. All of these things. Right? right. And so for most men now, especially young men like myself. And then once younger to me, that the well, the younger ones younger to me, they're defiant now. They they really don't care. They want to do what they want to do, which is <laughs> and you, they. I think they created some monsters in the young in the young people, men, that boys and girls, man, because they're kind of like, yo, we don't want to do. We don't care. But from my generation up, we like you want to. You always want to be that good man. You want to be that good guy. You want to be the man that women say that they wanted. But come to find out women have double talk for a long time talk about right out the side of their neck yeah we want the good guy but you figure out that the bad boys and the chads and the tyrones and the alphas were always a phone call away and uh they they dealt with those guys for a long time and then once those dudes were done with them then they turned to good guys and so now a lot of guys are finding that out sean a lot of guys they're in what they call it it's it, it, you get mad you get angry once it once that realization hits you as a man, you get angry. So what do men do at that point? A lot of them they check out. Right. They check out. That's why you have the um, um community um men going their own way. It's called MGTOW. Those guys catch a lot of flack because you know people saying like, well, why would you leave uh the dating scene? Why would you leave society? Why why would you care about what that man is doing with his life as long as he's doing what's making him happy? I think for the first time in a long time that men are not bound by duty. And what would say that might not necessarily be a good thing because of, you know, our civilized society. But back in the day, men were forced to be protectors and providers. Now you can, you can choose to live a life of solitude now and you don't have to take on those responsibilities and you can just go forward and live your life. You know, so that's what they is pretty much giving us ultimate choice. But because you have that, you got guys who don't say nothing um things like you say are out of order and we're running them up yeah um man you know there are women out here who don't want to be in the position of a man you know if we, think if we go do. back yeah but, but a lot of a man you know it's just like we talked about on last week you know some women are forced to be in the position that they're in um yeah uh because the men <laughs> society has dominated the society has made it to be okay for the man not to be who you know his his original self and so you got all different types of you got men and men's bodies but they're totally something they're totally the opposite of 
the body that they're dwelling. They're totally something else because they were told it's okay. It's okay to be this. It's okay to be that. It's okay to... Uh, Well, I, I I keep saying, Sean, Sean, be careful, be 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 careful. But then again, the the other the, the other thing on my other show, like, hey man, you got to keep it, you got to keep it one hundred. Get be transparent. Yeah. yeah. Men are being everything else besides men, but there are some women out here who don't want that title. You know, you when we said men, let men be men, let them lead. Yeah. Men feel good when they lead. Men, the, the the men feel good when they can uh, take care of their families, provide, do the necessary things that they need to do. But you, and if you don't, from what I'm seeing, a lot of women are in position they got to do everything. But then you have to relinquish that role and be like, you know what? He's the man. I got to let him lead. But you got to trust him to lead. Yeah. You got to trust you got to trust him to leave. You you got to you got to believe believe in him. And women when you give us that baton which you shouldn't have to give to us because we should already have that baton carrying it every day in our back pockets. But when you just relinquish the masculine the masculinity part of you and you be like, "You know what? I'm going to be a woman. I'm going to be his help me. I'm going to be here right by him." Uh it forces the man to step up to own that role. Yeah. Society has screwed up the homes, marriages, relationships. I mean, it, it because people are so leaning on to it because it's what everybody is doing. Mm-hmm. And you 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 got to you, you women you we we need you guys Ladies, we need you to change that narrative and be like, you know what? He didn't make me to be the man. Where are the women who who's going to stand up and be like, you know what? He didn't make me to be the man. He didn't make me first. It's not my role to to lead. You know, when I got a full bona fide grown man in the house with me, he should be leading. But you got to let him lead. Yeah. If you don't, if you don't let him lead. That's where the friction is going to come in and a disconnect, the arguing, the bickering, and whatever. And then, boom, you guys, there's going to be a wedge put between you and, you know, nothing is going to get done, actually. But you got to let the man lead because that's a natural position that God put him in. Yeah. I mean, it's like I said before. So Lisa says they want good guys to pay the bills. Some women have um, different men for different needs. Oh yeah, I mean we know. Well, we know that. We know you right, but she, mm-hmm. but she right. She dead. She, but yeah. she, she dead on that, right on that. One. That's that's part of that 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 right there is one of the reasons why the dating game is dead. That that's right. that right there. They see, especially back in the day before birth control came out, and they were saying that women were protesting birth control. They said because it would kill relationships. Well, we're living in exactly what they thought would happen. It it, it absolutely has killed relationships. Um, and then why would I settle for being one of many, like as a man, like I'm, I'm, a, I'm a man. Why would I settle for being one of many men? Now, uh, guys will settle for being one of many men if they're just looking for, you know, one thing from that woman. If they're not, if they're not looking for much from that woman, but you know, a good time, then they don't care about, you know, the amount of dues or how many dudes she deal with and got this for that. And pay bills here and she got a sugar daddy over here and no the guy ain't gonna care because he had to get one thing and he, he's gone but right. if she with her operating like that okay she'll operate operate like that while she has an advantage on the market but once she get older then okay oh oh now i need to find somebody and be stable and most guys are like no no men are, the, men are collectively saying no that's why it's such a big deal with um uh them talking about getting mad at, at black men saying that they don't want to um, marry uh, black single mothers, you know, because they don't want to deal with women with children. It's not that nothing is wrong with the women themselves. Yeah, and people act like it's an attack on the women themselves saying that the women, you know, they just, they just um, are terrible people. No, just, you have a child and that is a huge responsibility. Like 
Women ain't like a child is just like it's a, just an accessory. You're just like, oh yeah, um, yeah, it, I, this right here, you know, yeah, it, it's just an accessory. It's just um, like the little pocket, the little uh, the little coin pouch that comes with purses. Yeah, it's just one of those. You know, you get Bluetooth in the car. You know, it's just a kid. It just comes with me, but it's no big deal. No, this is a right. huge deal. This is a, a whole person we have to take care of, man. Right, and whether right. you realize or not, I don't care how much money you have as a woman. Uh, it doesn't matter. You, She's always going to want a man to be financially stable and to help take care of her and whatever children that she has. I don't care what kind of money she has. And for them to all and Kevin Kevin Samuels always debunked this. He always says, like, okay, well, can you be with a man that's making fifteen dollars an hour? Well, if he with me, he he gonna make more than no no no. That's not what I said. Can you be with a man that makes fifteen dollars an hour? And he's gonna make that for the rest of his life. No more, no less. But that's what he's gonna make. Can you keep that man? Can and can you respect that man? And the answer usually is no. So hmm. it's about. It's about it's about money most times, man. But yeah, it, as far it, as it, it, men, it you 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 know, B, yeah, it it is, man. And this 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 topic, man, I've always went back and forth with it. Um, it's like a man who a self-made man. He's self-made. He's put it. He's went to school. He's got his education. He's busted his butt to darn near perfect his craft. He's built his business or himself from nothing into something. And my whole thing about it is, is that the attitude that I deserve a high value man, a man making a certain amount, he's supposed to take care of me financially. I don't supposed to do nothing. He's supposed to take care of everything and I do nothing so I have a I guess I got a big problem with that because I watched a mother a single mom even when she dated she didn't have a hand out she wasn't asking a man for nothing she didn't have these demands she's she looked at it like this I go to work every freaking day every single day I'm going to set myself up to not build myself into something. Get with this guy. He has everything. I have pretty much nothing. If he was to leave me tomorrow and I still have nothing. The the the, the mindset of I want to be taken care of, I want to be catered to. The audacity and the gall and the nerve to have that type of attitude of arrogance as if you are deserving, you're entitled to that. My thing is this. Okay. Let's rack them up. Let's play. It, you feel as if you're entitled to this. I feel as if you got to earn it. Yeah. Because it's like I say, I got a huge problem ain't no i'm a real man ain't nobody helping me do nothing for my business it's all on my head no partner no associates no silent partners so i'm gonna bust my butt every day early morning late night building it up getting into a place of 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 substance and you gonna come in and you just gonna just i just supposed to roll out the red carpet for you i supposed to just do everything for you Mm -hmm. I have a huge I have a huge problem with women with attitudes like that. It's a very negative attitude of arrogance. Where is it? Where does I mean so you're not supposed to help me at all. Yeah. It's all on me. You do nothing. What if something happens to me? Now I've, I've had these conversations with women. And I've listened to their verbiage and, and how they explain. And, and, and for most men, most men, we think logically. Logic has nothing to do with emotion. There's no emotions in logic. Mm -hmm. Logic is simply this. 
and I'm gonna break it down in simplistic type form. Logic is simply this. Logic is like one plus one equals two. It's, it's, it's simple. For me, my mom always says, she says, Sean, if things don't make logical sense to you, you looking at that person like they plumb dumb. That's just how I do. Because I'm like, okay, I'm listening what you're saying but it makes no logical sense in my mind. It, it really, it really doesn't. So I supposed to do everything for you. You supposed to just come in. It's like the song goes, man. I don't, I don't like, I don't want to, I don't want to bring up that. I don't want, you know, I really don't want to bring up that, that situation, but it was in a rap song. Uh, you know, it's almost like, you know, they, they brought up Kobe and he was like, you know what? You weren't with me while I was shooting shooting hoops in the gym. There was yeah. late nights, you know, that just mm -hmm. it's it, to me it's a Rick Ross said it best. Yeah. He said it best. I mean, I think I have a real problem of the hard work that I put in to build to be a self-made man. And you just gonna come in. I'm supposed to just be doing all these things and you know, and uh, you know, Captain Save a Ho and all that stuff. I supposed to be, I supposed to be doing all these, all these things with the cape and everything and the, the, the Superman suit. No, that's not my. No, 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 no. You got to earn that. I got to see that you are um, worthy of that. Mm -hmm. Again, if a man, a man who respects himself, he gonna make you earn that. A man that doesn't respect himself, he gonna go along with anything that you say. I was just has, about to say that he, he has to. Because a man that has no self-respect, he going to go along with everything, everything that you got to say. And I tell women all the time, I said, be very careful by you talking to a woman. I mean, you talking to a man who woman who, who, who was raised by a strong mother who hit him on game. So he didn't be out here going out here in the street, being some fool, being a new yeah. fool, just just fall into my mother was she was really strong and solidified and, and and just just saying listen sean don't you fall for all that nonsense that they be saying that you supposed to do son baby if they weren't there helping you build it you just don't give it away they got to earn that because that's off your back son you didn't put the time in the hours the years the days the nights the early mornings no, son, that's not how that works. They got to earn it. It's like, you, Sean, always respect yourself. She said, Sean, always respect yourself. You make them earn these things that they say that they supposedly have and want and supposedly need. Here's the thing. I ain't going to ask you for nothing. I ain't going to ask you for a penny. And most men who are self-made, they don't ask a woman for nothing. They just don't ask. Yeah. I'm not built that way. I'm not built that way. Now, if you do something for me on your own free will and accord, I have, I kind of have a problem with that because a lot of women, when they do stuff, man, they get mad. They throw over what they've done. I'm like, me, my response is, Heffa, I ain't asked you to do that for me. You did that on your own. Did I ask you to do that for me? Okay, shut the hell up. And so you, ain't get, you, 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 you talking on a losing argument. I didn't ask you for anything, and I won't yeah. ask you for nothing. Cause I'm not built that way, but you gonna come in and have your Christmas bag all open and your hands all out. Not supposed to be doing all this stuff. No, you gonna earn that. Cause Gwen, Gwen, Gwen told me all about you. I know all about you from the rooter to the tutor, from the <laughs> crown of the head to the sole of your feet. So you can't come and run that okie doke yeah. weak ass society BS with me. Cause that's not gonna work. That's going to work for the man who can't think for himself, the man who has no self-respect for himself. And if you a real woman, why would you want a man who don't have no self-respect for his own self? Yeah. B, you can take it and run with it, and, and I'm going to let you have that. Gotcha. I'm going to let you have it. <laughs> and, oh, Nesco in the house. Fellas, what's up, Ness? What's up, Ness? Yeah, um, Man, you said a mouthful right there. Right. I mean, just, just in, in men... And you have to know where your power lies today. No matter no matter how much they try to stomp out masculinity, no matter how they try to switch the roles in society, try to convince you that you're different from how you are. Like society's trying to tell men how to be men. 
And it's and it's and it's crazy to me. And then you have other men who participate in this because they're simp's. You know, they're simp's to the women that they serve. A man that serve the man who's serving women is a man you shouldn't listen to because he lacks self respect. Uh, one of my uh, two of the uh, favorite quotes is kind of said it's the same thing. They said different ways. It says women don't build, they move in, and women don't mm. run the race with you. They wait at the finish line and they pick the winners. And I said, <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. Man, what? My mama sent you some conversation in a dream. She has told me things almost like that, but it just was like that. It's, 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 but it's kind of kind of different. Mm -hmm. She said, baby, and you don't never want no woman. You a finished product and you didn't work hard. And she just she she just she just come in there because you didn't won. And so she come in, she just she just she just come in there so you can, you know, she's just waiting for you to get to the finish line. Yeah. Man, I don't care what nobody say, man. I'm 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 in that power couple round. That's just where I'm at. I, 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 you know, you can say what you want, but I was raised by a strong black woman who worked hard, sometimes worked two and three jobs. There was no man involved and she made sure she had what she needed to have. I just can't, I can't, I can't get with that. To me, that's all society based. Yeah. Bring me, bring me something what, what the big man said. Now we can have a conversation, but you ain't even got no conversation with the big man. So you don't even know. So that's how I know yeah. you all out of order and all out of place. So I'm not listening to you, because a real woman yeah. ain't gonna have that. A real, a real alpha woman ain't gonna have that type of attitude. She's won't. Yeah. She, she just won't. She just so, won't. This is this is easily correctable, men. Even oh, men yeah. who are, men, even men who are um, currently in relationships, or even men who are married. Even though it's a little more sticky when you're married, and you got kids, you got things that you got to hold on to, and I get all of that, but. You could change the narrative tomorrow because long as especially especially single men vote with your wallet and vote with your feet. That's what you got. That's all you have to do. The purpose that does not serve you. Drop it. Drop it like it's a hot potato and walk away. And, you know, and men have started to do that. And you, you hear the chirping from women like women complain about men not taking them on dates no more. That that, that right there is, is, is coming to an end. This young dude, dude, man, dog, I talked to so many young guys, Sean. And uh, the future of dating, the dude's like, yo, she ain't coming to the house. I just, I, I have nothing for it, man. And it's sad um, because he said, and especially if you know, they know what type of woman it is. Now, if he, they perceive her as a woman who's, you know, good girl, they don't see her, you know, dealing with all these guys and things like that. And, you know, see her as, you know, um, uh, a good person, I guess, you know, then you're more willing to do those things. But if you know, if, if you can clearly tell that she belongs to the streets, like why am I taking her on dates? Like why? Like Pookie and Ray right. ain't take on no date. Why? I, they didn't take on no date. I'm not taking you on no date. It's just what it is. I want the same. How did they get it? I want the same way. How, how did they get it? I want the same exact way. I don't want to pay a higher price than somebody who, uh, um, shoot, the dude ain't better than me. So why am I paying a high price to him? Mm. You know. So. Yeah. It, and 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 fathers, the lack of fathers, Sean. This all goes back to the lack of fathers. I mean, the 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 the, the man you were supposed to model yourself after, your first role model, your first superhero. Yeah. He's gone. He's been gone for a very long time, and we're seeing the residual effects of it, man. I mean, this so this Western society is going to collapse on itself. For all our uh, civilized uh, wannabe behavior, like I said, we still animals at the end of the day, acting on impulses and urges like children. That's what we do. Exactly, man. Exactly. And um, man, man, I, 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 a part of me just wants to know how, how, how do some women. Cause not all women have that type of mindset. Right. Um, but how do some women, I mean, can just fix their lips and think that that's, that's okay. I mean, I, so you're going to raise your daughters to have that same mindset. 
how you so if you're a mother you're gonna raise your daughters to have that mindset of you how are you gonna raise your sons what kind yeah. of mindsets do your sons have i'm so interested i'm really interested to know i would love to sit down and and just just have conversations with single mothers boys i would love that i would love that i've had a few sean i had a conversation with my buddy man um just got off the phone with each other man and we were talking about that he said sean how intriguing would the conversation would be with single mothers and their sons and determining is he a beta or is he an alpha It'll be interesting because if she thinks, if the mother thinks like that, she didn't program the son to be a beta, period. All all day, Sean. They talked about that. Um, it's a lady. She uh she went viral a couple of years ago. She talked about that, and she even linked it back to uh, homosexuality and how um black mothers are responsible for majority of the uh, black men that are homosexual today, because oh, yeah. his masculinity is a threat to her in her household. So she basically get the fire extinguisher. She put his masculinity out every time it flares up. And so he has no choice but to be soft, no, no choice but to be a simp, you know, because that's what she basically bludgeoned him into being. And that, that, that messed me up when I heard that right there. I said, of course, of course, of course, it's not all moms, but you can't deny that just like we want to talk about fathers, lack of fathers, deadbeat dads. Well, Let's turn on the other side of the coin. This is the, the the percentages are the same with absent mothers, mothers who aren't there, and mothers who are just not good people. Because just because she was present doesn't mean she was a great person. Um, but that that's what it is today, mm. man. Mm. And they've mm -hmm. they've influenced gener uh, a couple generations now. And now, especially especially the the younger the younger generation, they they're calling out the hypocrisy left and right now. Like we we seeing stuff going on, things that have been normal for years, and we're like, "Yo, wait a minute, that's a double standard right there." That, that, that's one of the main things, man, that I call out is double standards. It's not about vilifying women. It's not about talking trash about women. It's about hey, the double standards. Because yeah, I admit that things can, men can be this way, but for y'all to just sit up and smooth act like women aren't this way or can be this way. Oh, so you Stevie Wonder now? You know you don't see none of that. You got a <laughs> got a problem with that, man? Call it both ways. That's our biggest problem. <laughs> Call it both ways. Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Stevie Wonder. <laughs> right, like they can't see the hypocrisy, man. Come on now. <laughs> do 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> Even oh, one man. Baby. Hey, man. Hey, but it, it's, it's so true, man. What, what, my thing, my, I, I, boy, I love listen, just listening to people, man. Mm -hmm. And I love, I love, I, some women don't realize that you really expose, you expose yourself. Yeah. And the, and the, and the right man who has self respect, he look, he is examining everything that you say. And he yeah. was like, what kind of wife is that going to be? Yep. What kind of wife is that going to be? She sound like she going to be the wife where I'm going to be on the island all by myself. Man, hey, what that, what's that saying? It's, it's better to be uh, on the edge of the roof than be in the house with a nagging woman. Brawling. The book of Proverbs says brawling. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, let me tell you something. My mother showed me that I went through a breakup with somebody. She showed me that and she broke down Proverbs 5, 6 to me. When my mom broke down Proverbs 5, 6, it was so deep. The way she broke it down, I got it tattooed on my arm this day. It's tattooed mm -hmm. on my right arm going right down Proverbs 5, 6. She said that right there alone, that one statement alone should make you kind of cringe on how we are. Yeah. And I was like, wow. And then, you know, we, we talked about how uh, my mom is, <laughs> she said, you and a mouthy woman, never y'all would never work. And she's right. 
No. Maldi, Mal, I, now, here's the thing. I've, mm -mm. I've dated a couple, not a lot, I've, on one hand, a couple of Maldi women, and I work with them until I couldn't work with their Maldi behinds anymore because nobody knows Sean better than Sean knows Sean. I said, no, nah, she's going to put me in a position. I'm going to be in trouble. Let me go ahead and give her the, this pink slip, the, these walking papers, and just keep it moving. Because <laughs> she ain't the one. She's yeah. not the one. She's in Proverbs. It's best to be on the rooftop than to be in a house with a mouthy, brawling woman. Now, if the big man upstairs when trying to give men signals on what you don't want, I don't know what to say. Because my yep. mom said, "You, my mom, my mom said, you see that?" He, she said, "He is giving you a warning sign." He, she, he has given you a Batman signal. Yeah. Stay away from that type of female. Because in order for a man and a woman to get on the same page, a man has to bring himself to a certain level of humility and a woman has to bring herself to a certain level of humility. That one word humility is a major problem of why men and women can't make it, can't get along because there's no humility on one of those sides. And right. without humility in a relationship, that's not a relationship. That ain't, it, 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 it ain't even, it's not a partnership. It ain't even a relationship. It's a one ship. That's all it is. You in a relationship by yourself, dude, because she ain't doing that that you say. She's in non-compliance. She's combative. She, she's got resistance on every, and she's got to have the last word and everything she, you say, she's da 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 yeah. You know, man, I don't care what nobody say, man. It ain't nothing like a sweet, kind, loving, caring, thoughtful, loving woman. Just, it's, it's nothing better than that. There is, yeah. nothing, there is nothing better than that. Put her in front of me and put that mouthy woman I'm like, no, nah, I'm gonna lean to that sweet side because I'm hard by myself. I don't need I don't need to be coming home to Buster being hard with me too. I didn't been hard all day. I need to come home mm -hmm. to some freaking softness. Yep. You see as what Lisa said? Can, what did Lisa said, say? Women are women are ruthless. They just don't want to be held accountable for their BS. Yeah, yeah. I accountability. Lisa, accountability. And I love the woman who, who refuses to play victim. I love the woman who refuses to play to who refuses to play victim. It's everybody's fault except for hers. Every relationship that fails is his fault. So you mean to tell me the reason you can't keep a man because it's every man's fault that you've been involved in? Yeah. That's real hard for me to believe because when things go wrong, that's both of y'all fault. That failure, it's both of y'all fault. Now, maybe he, he may have done something a little bit more, but you, you both failed. Yeah. You both failed at it. So when, when, when a woman says, Man, every relationship, this guy, this guy, this guy. I'm like, ah, Lee. So, 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 you perfect, and all every dude that you've dated, and you darn near fifty something years old, it's been every dude's fault. So mm -hmm. you've been a perfect angel in every relationship. You said the right thing in every conversation. You did the right gestures. You did no rolling of the eyes. You did no back talking and. You know, talking out the side of your neck. You did. You did no provoking. You, so you was perfect. Oh dang! So you walked on water in every relationship you've had for fifty some years, right? All right. Just All like right. Um, when they they talk about um, main things is oh um, abuse. Uh, he was abusive, and don't get me wrong. Um, I, there are guys who are who are abusive. They put their hands on people. Yes, right. but. What we're finding out is abuse is, has been reciprocal. It hasn't just been men. I mean, we know what men have done, but, you know, women have have abused at the same rates men do. 
And then when you take them to task on the abuse, like, okay, so you mean to tell me y'all were just sitting in the house chilling and he came through and he stole cold stunning and rock bottomed everybody. <laughs> I mean, is that what happened? Is that what happened? He put you, he came home because you burnt the meatloaf and he put you in the figure four. Like, is that, is that, is that what happened? Is that, is that really what happened? And then, okay, let's say this. He did that. Did you leave him after he did those things? Well, no, we mm. were together for six years. Oh, my God. Right. Six years? That part. Okay. That part okay. all day. That all right. part. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, Nesco say, hey, Nesco laughing too. Brandon, they say, Brandon, stop. <laughs> but, but, Brandon, I'm serious, man. But, but Brandon, it's, it's, a, it's a simple statement that you said, but it's so yeah. true. So he just came yeah. out of work and just came and he was just doing haymakers straight through. As soon as he walked through the house, he just slapping yeah. everybody like Bernie Mac and Chris Watt. When, remember when Bernie Mac was walking through the train station, just slapping people? Oh, yeah. Bernie. Slapping everybody. <laughs> so that's what he did. He just walked in the house, didn't say hey or nothing. He just walked in and he just started slapping people for no reason. Right. Now, if that's if that's the case, all right. Okay. All right. Okay. Hey, I, 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 I got it. I got it. Lisa say all right. WWE all day. <laughs> and you smell with the rockets. <laughs> yeah, because uh, there, there are there are real victims. There are real victims out there, of they course. Are. But they it's be it's become such a common um, uh, issue in relationships to where women uh, scapegoat any responsibility in the relationship. You know, because that no matter what she did in relationship, all she has to say is, oh, he put his hands on me. And then everybody, they don't even want to know what she did. They're all attention focuses and turns to him, which is crazy to me. But it's true, B. You say it's, it's tight, but it's right. <laughs> so Ness gonna say <laughs> Ness always tight, but it's right. That is Ness, that's Ness all day. <laughs> it's tight, but it's right. <laughs> but yeah, man. Yeah, it's true, man. It's so true, bro. Yeah. And then, I mean, we're in a, we're in, we're in, I think, a, in, a, in a good space right now for men where men have built their own platforms and now we're able to speak on the things we want to speak on and not being snuffed out because of our opinions uh, on the opposite sex. Like when, when they, when they banned Trump from um, pretty much every social media tr platform, I had a huge problem with that. Not because it was Trump itself that they banned because of what that represented. I was like, if they can do that to him, then they can do that to you. Like that, that's an issue that every human being should have a problem with censorship. If they censor him, you are next. You're, if he's today, you're tomorrow. What's stopping them from doing the same thing to you? Right. And then you could say, hey, your opinions could differ from Trump's, but they not like yours because it's not their opinions. Now they've silenced you, too. I'm sure you have a problem with it then. But people don't look at it that way. Orange man, bad bully. Get him out of here. Right, they never look at it like that, B. They don't, yeah. man. Yeah. And it, oh, this is a good one, Lisa. Lisa, say, these women will get up in the man's face and provoke him. Dude, you four foot eleven, and this man is an offensive lineman for the Florida State Seminoles. <laughs> they do that all the that's, time. That's 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 <laughs> Division One, which means he's an average of about six four, three hundred pounds. Right. And you four eleven, uh, one thirty, talking trash, and I'm like, ma'am. Ma'am, no, he got to bend down just so you he can hear you. So you 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 need to stop. You need to stop. Please stop. Yeah, exactly, man. That part, brother. <laughs> but hey, all right, man. man. It's it's forty nine. You got to go. Oh yeah, yeah, man. I got I got to run, man. But man, we got to finish, man. We boy, we we gonna have a lot of part twos, b. We can't. Oh yeah. We ain't even we b, we ain't even get into this good, man. We ain't even. We didn't even get into this good, man. We Not still even got scratched food. the surface yet. No, nah, man. We still got food on the plate, man. We still got food yeah, on the yeah, plate. Yeah, we do. You know. Yeah. So we got. We definitely got. We definitely got to dive into this one a little bit more deeper. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have a few more point. Few more points, especially in the part twos. I'm gonna go back and um. I pretty much done reviewed all the first parts. And when we do our part twos, I'm gonna have a few bullet points. Um. On uh, what we can, um, what some things I want to bring up. Say, hey, if I could lie as much as Trump does and still have a big following, I would be a full time event evangelical preacher. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh man, but it's crazy, many, man. and it's it, it, that's true because it's many with platforms, and all they do is lie. 
and they've gained followings. Like Derek Jackson. Derek Jackson lied. I mean, he just blatantly lies to women. I mean, just, 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 just lying. He's done it for a long time. He's got yeah, a great but he's, following. He's, he's, he's telling these women what they want to hear. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, he pandered. So, he's pandering. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, so so you I mean, you can get a platform lying. Oh yeah, exactly. Easy all day. Yeah, especially yeah, if, can... if it's things that people want to hear. Oh yeah. All oh, right, man. Definitely, brother. Definitely, man. So it's. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta dive into this one, man. We got we gotta we gotta get back. We got the next podcast. We gotta we gotta get deeper with this one. We definitely yeah. gotta get deeper with this one, B. Definitely yeah, gotta definitely. get deeper with this one, man. This is this this is good, man. This is good. I just wish I just wish I had more time. <laughs> oh man. Well, somebody calling my watch. You see, they pander to the female agenda, Lisa said. Yeah, they do. They pander to the female agenda. Yeah. And then uh we- uh, yeah, Sean, that's exactly what he does. Oh, yeah. All right. All right yeah, man. yeah, yeah. But all right, man. All right, y'all bro. make sure y'all like, sh- y'all like, share, and subscribe. Follow Sean yes. Taylor on all the social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. They follow right, me on all right, my social right. media platforms. We got more videos coming your way. Um, I should be back in here tomorrow with a live stream. Uh, hopefully I can get him to um, cooperate and get him on in here because it's been a couple of weeks. So um, yeah, we on. T- uh, I've got a um, well. He was with EWC. Now he's no longer with EWC. Um, one of EWC's football coaches. Uh, but I'm having him come on and we're gonna talk some football and we're gonna talk some camps uh, for the young people that's going on this summer in the city. So um, right. got that going on. And then uh, Thursday, uh, me and Mr. Reed we're gonna break down this this uh, NBA playoffs. Uh, it's, it's been uh, it's been very interesting these NBA playoffs, man. Some been some great games, so we're gonna break that down, man. But I appreciate y'all for tuning in. We are out of this thing, man. Yeah, till next out. week. All right, till next week. Yes, Yo. sir.